Hey guys, it's Logan again. So we tried to film the intro for this a 50 million times, but she just <laughs> can't pronounce this hairdo. <laughs> anyway, this is a side braid updo. Well, technically it's a low do, but uh, let me take this flower out so you can actually see it. But it is like a little low bun. It's a fishtail braid, and we just put it into a little bun. And yeah, it is a pretty romantic-y type <laughs> of hairdo for prom. So if you guys want to know how I did this hairstyle just keep watching and also stay tuned for the makeup for this look as well and uh, i'll talk to you guys later goodbye now the first thing we're going to be doing to this mass of hair is take the dry shampoo mine is from suave and you're just going to give the bottle a good shake you're just going to grab sections of hair and then give it a little spritz at the roots and you're going to notice this white cast going on that's the starch that's about to absorb all the oil so you're gonna leave that white starchiness in the hair for about five to ten minutes and then you're gonna brush the product throughout the entire hair so the ends also get that starchy goodness as well <laughs> I'm gonna also shake the roots so it lifts up some volume in the hair as well. Look at that, look at all that volume. <laughs> now I'm just gonna be taking a comb and brushing the product through. After you did that, we're gonna be taking the heat protectant spray and giving that a good spray all over the hair and also brushing that out as well. Ta-da! Now your hair is nice and protected from the heat that we're going to use to damage the crap out of it. <laughs> burn, hair burn! <laughs> so I'm going to be taking this Amika hair curler. It is a one inch barrel and we're going to be using this to curl the hair. But before we do that, we're going to section the hair. First, I'm going to section off the bangs. I'm going to be taking where her natural uh, split of her wherever she splits her hair I'm just gonna take that line and then I'm going to be taking the opposite side of that line as well so this is like a little little square area right here I'm gonna be taking that and putting that away for now okay so I'm also gonna be splitting the hair into thirds so the top third and then a Now these curls don't have to be neat at all because we're going to be putting into a low do anyway. We just want some structure in the little hairdo that we're going to do. So um, just messily curl the hair. It can go in the same direction, opposite directions, it doesn't matter. The whole head just needs to be curled. bottom section up and you're gonna let down the middle section and repeat the same step. Now give this a quick spray with some hairspray. It would be preferably better if the hairspray you used was a flexible hold instead of a super strong hold. That way the curls look more relaxed instead of stiff. Cause ain't nobody got time for stiff hair for prom. <laughs> now before I curl the last top section of the head, I'm going to be curling the bang area. You're gonna be taking vertical sections, like so, just little straight sections. And then you're gonna be curling the hair by placing the curling wand underneath the hair section curl around. Hold it there for about five seconds. so that it has time to cool down in that form. That way it makes the curl stay last longer. Now if you don't have this, 
hair roller, you can just take a bobby pin and pin the curl down against the head. she looks silly but you know it'll all be worth it in the end then you can just resume back to curling the top section of the hair I'm also going to be taking a comb and starting from the ends brush the curls out. So I'm going to be taking this massive hair right here. I'm going to be splitting it in two. Now we're going to be doing a fishtail braid. Now you can do any other type of braid you want. It could just be a regular braid. It could be a French braid whatever just braid the hair and a fishtail braid is when you just take two sections and take a small section from the outer section of these sections and then crossing it over to the opposite section so taking a small section from this side I'm gonna be moving it over to the left side and then now we have two sections again and then now taking it from this side moving it over to the right side now we have two sections again and you're just going to repeat that step over and over again until you are done at the very end of the hair. Taking a clear elastic and I'm gonna tie the end off. Like this. So you can make the braid looser by pulling on the ends. So now you have this fishtail braid. Flip the braid up against the head. And then we're going to be tucking the little ends underneath the little roll, taking a spin pin, sticking it in the middle, just spin the pin in, hence why they're called spin pins. Even though one is enough to secure the bun, I'm just going to be taking another one just to be extra safe because you're going to be dancing all night. Now with the hairspray in the top section, we're just gonna spritz the roots a little bit, tease it a little bit, and then swoop it over to this side. And then I'm gonna be taking this little section, brush it out first, and then I'm gonna be holding it flat against the head, and then making like a little swoop like this against the head and then connect it to the little bun take a bobby pin and we're just gonna pin that in place make it so that the bobby pin doesn't show just stick it into the side of the bun and now with a little, little curl that comes out we're just gonna hide it in the little bun. Like a little clever disguise. <laughs> like so. And then you're gonna give everything a final spritz. And then smooth down the little baby hairs. I'm gonna take some sections from the opposite side and just like loosen it up a bit and we're just gonna give it a little curl
and there you have it a nice low romantic side braid bun hairdo you can always do a little more extra and add like a little flower to the bun as well so you can just stick it to the side like that well i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and found it helpful and if you do it for prom i uh, hope you guys have a good night <laughs> and i'll talk to you guys later